Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to understand how exactly a minimax algorithm works and how we can actually use it for a tic-tac-toe game. So let's say we want to make our computer computer capable of playing a tic-tac-toe game in efficient way. In that case we can use minimax algorithm. So I already have the entire code in front of me so that I can explain you this easily. And also before I get into the code, I will explain you like how exactly a computer will like play this entire game uh, if, if it uses like minimax algorithm, right? So first of all, this is the condition that we are going to consider as of now. So let's say this is the scenario that we have right now. That means in the game, uh, there are like 3x and 3o. And right now, computer is going to play its move. So here we are just assuming that a computer is playing as x and a user that is us, we are playing as o. Now after this particular game, that means after this particular chance, there are like three different possibilities that computer can play. But as you can see directly that the best and most efficient position is this which is like playing directly here on top center but uh, we have to think like a computer and we can't uh, really analyze the entire uh, frame or this entire scenario directly so we need to do something uh, so that we can check all the possibilities and we can get the most efficient way right uh, to win the game now here in this case as it is a computer and we need to write an algorithm so here computer is going to try out each and every particular move which is possible and then it will find out the best move uh, which will make computer to win the game right so it will start from this so like our algorithm is going to work like this so it will put x right here only to just check what will happen if computer plays here right so in this case like the very first scenario that you can see we played x at bottom center position and nothing really happened right but now after this there are two more possibilities that can happen after this and which is uh, either o can play here or o can play here so we are going to extend this diagram and let's see what exactly can happen after this so after this particular chance uh, o will either play um, okay so I, I need to copy this entire thing so let us do that quickly so that we don't need to draw this entire thing manually again so I'll just take this entire thing right here and i'll put this entire thing at this particular position so these are two possible things which can actually happen uh, right now in the game right and i'm going to extend a line and i'll join uh, the line with it so that we can understand this properly so either this is possible or this is possible right so uh, now as o is going to play this game that means as user we are going to play this game so the two possibilities which uh, can happen is either the user can play here which is like o right here at this place or uh, the user can play at this particular position o now in this case as you can see that if o played here right now uh, o will win the game that means computer loses the game so definitely this path was was not really good for the computer right uh, but still here in this case you can see that if even after this particular chance a computer plays uh, at left center position nothing will happen and uh, this is draw condition right so this is what computer is actually going to do so like uh, how exactly we are analyzing it computer just played uh it, it, its game like at bottom center then with the help of minimax algorithm computer is actually going to plot our algorithm will plot uh o's at each individual position and it will keep on doing it like it will create an entire tree and uh, it will happen automatically like to just analyze and to check the end result so if you see this particular tree that means this particular path here the end result somehow we are getting where uh, player wins the game right that is user so that means here somehow this path is not that much efficient and computer shouldn't follow this we will get deeper into it and i'll explain you one more time like how exactly computer is going to know uh, whether uh, algorithm should follow this particular path or not but here we just got into a result there where in one of the conditions it is draw and in one of the conditions player is winning the game now in now we are going to see this uh, second path which is available here and in this case i'm going to do the same thing uh, i'll copy this entire thing and there are like three different possibilities that can actually happen right so first of all uh, I'll, I'll put x uh, right here at this place and let's say if x plays uh, the game uh, in this particular manner then there are like two mo more possibilities that can happen right so let's see what exactly those possibilities are so um, i'm going to copy this entire thing here and uh, i'll just replicate this entire thing and these are uh, the two possible uh, these are two possible things which 
can happen right so either o will play here at this particular position which is uh, right here or o will play here and after this uh, the game will be draw for both the conditions so there is no winning possibility at all for any of the player right uh, if i'm not wrong i guess here it doesn't matter which path uh, uh, like a computer or algorithm or like user is going to follow uh, the end result will 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 be draw that means here it is draw and here it is draw so this pa path is also not not really good for the algorithm and that's why algorithm will try the third one and which is uh, this particular position so the moment algorithm plays this uh, is this position uh, like puts x at this position uh, it wins the game and that's why this is the best possible path now what if if, if there is no uh, if, if we can't really follow this path in that case this is the second best possible path because there is no probability uh, for like o to win the game right and then this is the worst condition like this uh, path that you can see is the worst path but now let's see how exactly algorithm can track this entire thing and how our minimax algorithm can form this entire tree and can understand everything well it starts from uh, the very top position and I'll, and let me also tell you like why it is known as minimax algorithm so first of all uh, we are going to create a scale and the scale is going to look like this so let's assume that there is a scale where the minimum possible value is minus one then we have zero and we have one right so this is the scale which we have right now with us right now there is a competition between user and the computer right or you can say algorithm and minimax algorithm will try to maximize the score and user will try to minimize the score right and this will decide who is actually going to win the game so in this case uh, why we are actually selecting minus one zero and one uh, that is what you will understand automatically when i'll explain you the scenario see in this particular case uh, when we are actually on top here o just played the game right that means user just played the game right here and now in this particular uh, level that you can see right here here at this particular level uh, computer is playing the game so i'm going to highlight this very quickly so uh, let's see whether we can highlight it or not so i'll select this right here and i'll put background color as this so here right now the highlighted section that you can see right now in this highlighted section uh, algorithm is going to play the games like this is computer's turn now if it is computer's turn then in that case computer will try to maximize the score right if computer is able to maximize the score that means uh, al algorithm or computer will win the game and in this case if you look at this particular chain right here we don't know what the value is in this case for the third one the third path that you can see right here uh, here it will return one which is positive one because uh, here uh, algorithm wins the game so that's why we are returning one right which will be considered as the best path according to the algorithm uh, which will make our computer win the game now here in this case as the uh, like we need to get deeper into the entire chain to actually see what will be the overall outcome right so now if if i look at the very first scenario here there are like two more things which is possible so if you look at this particular phase so i'm again going to highlight something very quickly and uh, i'm going to select a different color for this so let's assume that this is the uh, this is the chance where user is playing the game right now here user is playing the game and now as user is is playing the game user will try its best to minimize the score right so if user is trying to minimize the score then in that case if if user wins the game then it will return minus one as the value and if uh, the game is draw then it will return zero as the value right in this case as you can see that whenever computer wins the game so for example if uh, if computer wins the game then it will return positive one but if user wins the game then user will return negative one because here our user will try to minimize the score so every every single time user wins the game uh, user will 
uh, assume that the best score for the user is negative one if there is draw so in in case of draw condition uh, both of them will be returning now we have everything uh, uh, perfect up to this point so if i look at this scenario where like user is playing the game uh, right here in that case user is returning two values now here you can see that like there is zero as well there is minus one as well but when this minimax algorithm will run automatically it will select uh, the the option where the value is minimum because as of now user is playing the game so if, if you see this blue region your user is playing the game so if you if user has two options let's say this and this at one place the game is getting draw and uh, in the second place user is able to win the game so definitely minimax algorithm will assume that user will play this one and that's why it is returning minus one right here but right now you can see that uh, we returned minus one and we have minus one at this particular place right now so there is no way and uh, that's why here it, it needs to return minus one which is basically a losing condition so that means if anyhow computer follows this particular path then computer is going to lose the game if we talk about second scenario which is originating from here in this particular case let's say if if you if computer plays this we need to get deeper into this uh, tree and you can see that now here at this place user is again playing the game now as user is playing the game now again user has an option to do any of these things but in both the conditions uh, we have draw is okay well we don't have draw uh, i'm very sorry because like here as i can see right now uh, x can win the game right so in this particular case this will be draw because if x plays here at the end uh, there is no outcome so it, it, it is draw but here in this case after this particular uh, chance computer can play here and that uh, will make computer the winner right so here in that case it, it will return one as the value so i'll copy this entire thing let me take this entire thing from here and i'll just put it here so if 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 let's say um user selects to play o here at mid center at like bottom center then in that case our our algorithm will put x here and will actually win the game so this here if algorithm put x here and wins the game so it will return one as the value and here we get zero as the value right so here algorithm is playing the game but now here user is playing the game so as user is playing the game user is trying to minimize the uh, score so here if user has these two options user will return zero from right so user will return zero from this particular position and that's why uh, here in this case this will be a draw condition so here this is draw condition now here uh, the last one is quite efficient and here we are getting plus one as return value so it means that uh, that algorithm will win in this particular case which is the third option so the overall uh, thing is there is a game between the algorithm and the user where where user will where user will continuously try to minimize the score and uh, algorithm will try to maximize the score right in each particular phase let's say it is user's turn so user will try to minimize the score as much as possible and if it is computer's turn then computer will try to maximize the score as much as possible. if computer wins the game that means uh, it is positive one for for computer if user wins the game then it means negative one for the user and this is how they continuously return the value right now this is the entire algorithm and this is what this entire program will do right so uh, here in the next video i i will be explaining you like how this entire program does the same thing and maybe in that video you will get even more better idea how exactly minimax algorithm works right and how computer finds out the best possible position where to put x and win the game right so that's all for today's video if you have any doubt or any confusion definitely let me know in uh, in the comment section also if you want uh, any if you want any 
any video on a specific topic you can let me know i'll definitely get a video on that uh well uh in second part i'm going to explain you this entire code and also as we are creating a project on tic tac toe game uh where we are going to make it single player as well that means we will implement this algorithm in our project uh which we are creating using uh python so you can check out that video as well if you want to uh complete the entire project so uh that's all for today's video bye